classification of numbers find the odd term 324 576 729 and 801 do some of the numbers look familiar yes they are perfect squares which ones are 324 729 and 576 2 Now you know the odd one out. It's option four, eight zero one. Find the odd term, eight three two four, five four five nine, six four two seven, four one two eight. Find a pattern in three numbers. First digit into last digit is equal to middle two digits. Which one doesn't follow this? Four into eight is not twelve. Eight into four is thirty-two. Five into nine is forty-five. Six into seven is forty-two. But four into eight is not twelve. So the correct answer is option four. Find the odd term: two ninety-seven, five seventy-six, two eighty-eight, nine one seven. Find a pattern in three numbers. Check the sum of the digits. For three numbers, it is eighteen. Which one doesn't follow this? It's option four. Find the odd term. Find a pattern in three numbers. Check if they are prime or composite. Three numbers are composite. Which one isn't? It's one ninety three. So correct answer is option one. Find the odd term. Find a pattern in three numbers. Check if they are leap years. If it's a century year, it should be divisible by four hundred. Which one isn't? It's eighty nineteen hundred. Option one. Find the odd term. Try reducing the fractions. Except one, all fractions are the same. Which one isn't? Option two. Find the odd term. Find a pattern in three numbers. The three numbers are in the table of twenty-nine. Ah, you need to know tables up to thirty. Start learning from today. So which one? Is the odd term? It's option two. Find the odd term. Three numbers are multiples of ten. That's all. Yes, sometimes it's just that easy. So which one is the odd term? Option four, ninety-two. Check for prime and composite numbers. One is a multiple of three, so not prime. Two and four are even, so not prime. Check one zero one. Yes, it is prime. So the correct answer is option three. Find the odd term again. Try reducing the fractions. Except one, all fractions are the same. Which one isn't? It's seventy four upon two hundred and twenty two. Option four. Find the odd term. Hmm. Look at the digits in the numbers. Find a pattern here. Sum of the alternate digits is equal. Oh goodness, this one is tough. So, which one is the odd one? It's option four. Find the odd term. Hmm. Look at the digits in the numbers. Find a pattern. Hmm. Sum of the digits is divisible by three. So the odd one is option one. Find the odd term. Look at the digits in the numbers. Hmm. Can we find a pattern here? Yes. Sum of the digits is a prime except for one number. 
which is option 4. Find the odd term again. Look at the digits in the numbers. Find a pattern there. Sum of the digits is composite except for one number. Option 2, 575. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 5 is 17, which is a prime number. So that's the odd term. Find the odd term. There are two options in this. 67, 101, 43. What's the rule in the series? They seem to be prime. Which numbers will fit in then? 107, yes, that'll fit. 71, that'll fit too. So, which numbers are odd? 93 and 87. So, don't assume, look at the question properly. Find the odd term. We don't want to find similar terms, but the odd terms. So you really need to know the prime numbers up to 100. Find the odd term two options for the given series 28, 15 and 66. Now look at these numbers. What's the rule in the series? They seem to be triangular numbers. Which numbers will fit in then? 120, 45, seem to be fitting in. So which are the odd ones? 75 and 58. And that brings us to the end of this lesson.